a highly inflammable element sodium is actually filled in valves of performance cars and heavy duty engines to actually cool it. How does that work? And why do we need it at first place? Let's untangle in this video. Cooling of a combustion chamber of an engine is very important, not only to decrease the wear, but more importantly to prevent the hot spots in combustion chamber which may lead to knocking, which is very bad for engine life. To cool combustion chamber and internal components of it, cooling system are employed. But even after that, some engine elements are really hard to cool. Cylinders directly get in contact with coolant jackets or fins. Piston also shares significant amount of area for heat conduction and also it has connecting rods which are very thick hence also heat distribution is possible. But valves, spark plugs or injector tips are the most hard components to cool. The incoming air is at relatively low temperature, hence it does the work of cooling inlet valves and spark plug tips. But exhaust valves don't get this favor. Generally the valve construction used in engine is poppet valves. It has narrow stem so that it won't obstruct much airflow. The head of the valve faces the most heat from combustion and hence get heated up. Also the exhaust air is hot so valve also gets heated from here. To dissipate all this gathered heat it has only two surfaces. First of which is valve seat which is very small area that too is not always in contact as when the valve is actuated the contact breaks. Second area to dissipate heat is through the valve guide. It is the most effective part to transfer the heat. In an engine head design, coolant jackets are tried to be brought as near as possible so that max heat from the valve can be fetched out. Now as you see the area for heat transfer here also is not too much and the most of the heat is to be dissipated from here only. There are actually very limited number of materials which can be used to make valves as there are lot of parameters to consider such as thermal expansion. Valve should not expand thermally giving leaks. It should not bend due to repeated bashing for billions of reciprocations and should also withstand high pressures inside. When the valve material is selected for performance or heavy duty engine which may reach high internal temperatures. Generally, steel chrome nickel alloys are used. These materials are good at all aspects, but their thermal conductivity with respect to temperature is very low. This raises an issue of hotspot on the valve head. To overcome this, sodium filled valves are required. Sodium has no great properties as all these alloys, but it has far better thermal conductivity even in liquid state making it a really good choice to lose heat. Also to add up to this, sodium also expands very less due to heat as it has low thermal coefficient of expansion. These sodium filled valves look same as normal valves but are actually hollow from inside. This cavity is completely enclosed and is partially filled with sodium. As the valve heat up, due to the running of engine the sodium melts. Now. With each reciprocation it splashes up and down. So when it's near the valve head, it extracts the heat and when it is splashed above, it loses heat by conducting it through the valve guide. As the heat conduction of sodium is like this, when compared to valve material, it is far better. So when the comparison is done between solid and sodium filled valves, these sodium valves are far cooler where this temperature difference can be 100 to 150 degrees celsius which is really significant. Sometimes the internal temperature raises so high that this sodium boils and vaporizes. It fills up this cavity. Even in this condition, the heat transfer rate by vapor of sodium is relatively good. The sodium vapor transfers heat through the valve guide and as it loses heat, it condenses back and falls down again. Now again it heats up and the cycle continues. This is how sodium filled valves work and cool the valve surfaces to solve the problem of hot spots hence preventing knocking by its really great heat transfer abilities. 
Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit notification bell to get notified for future videos. Also make sure you hit the like button and share this video. If having any question or comments feel free to mention them down in the comment section below. As of for now I'm signing off and see you guys next week.